Actually, I do know who's the fault. Uh, it's Bradley. <laughs> it's always Bradley. The one that's not here I'm to defend sorry, himself. I had to do that. <laughs> He's not here. It's his fault. No, when we were working on this, we were in all in a class together, and she was sick. And pretty much everybody in the classroom ended up sick before the week was over. So there she is. <laughs> so we just have to let her but honestly that's not the truth this is really just Bradley and I alright there's my basting stitch now I have to come in here again and find my transition point which is right there, because it's actually on the sew line, all right? So we're gonna take that, put it right here, and then we're gonna take these pieces. And the reason it's on the sew line is because it has to be a quarter of an inch in from the basting stitch. So now I'm just gonna take my glue stick, and we're gonna put this piece that's going to match up just like that. And that's where it starts. And then from there, work this way. Oh. Mm -hmm. And this worry about spot down. right here is going to end up like a dog ear. Sorry. Okay. So I want you to see what that's supposed to look like there. So when that's sewn, Look at how the back side comes out. That line, the sew line comes right out at that V. You see that? Alright, you guys see what I'm talking about there? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, can you guys mm -hmm. see it? Mm hmm. That's cool. Thank you. All right. So now we have that edge done. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to match this one up. But I have to start on this end. And I'm going to get myself the dog ear that I need, which I'm a little short. This one is a little tricky, so you want to check it to make sure that you get that out far enough. And I'm mm -hmm. still in, because it's not a perfect angle and so it goes out further all right so just make sure that you get that same look there before you start all right make sure that it matches up just like the mm -hmm. other one did mm -hmm. all right so that line comes right out at that v mm -hmm. Yeah. When I go back to the machine, it may yeah. be another story. Okay. All right, so now this is the concave is the opposite, so it's not as easy to do. So what we do is we come in here, and we're just going to put the glue on a little bit here and just let it work its way down. Then we're going to go over to here, and it's going to want to pull on us. In your instructions, it tells you to pull the paper off and do the other side. Don't do that. This is the easy way to do it. All right. <laughs> and you guys are going to do this today, and once you do one, you're going to probably find yourself wanting to get all four of them out of the way if you have your leaves done. Sure. Don't go to sleep tonight. <laughs> So, if you start from both ends and work back to the middle, it actually will lay down along that piece, and it's going to look just like that. All right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It does. So mm -hmm. it won't lay down perfect, right? But when I go put the steam iron to it, it's going to look flat again, all right? Okay. But before I put the steam on this one, because sometimes it'll pull it up, I like to come in and take and put just a couple of pins in it. So you're going to actually steam it before you sew it? Yeah, I'm going to steam it. Mm -hmm. So we got the three pins in it, and now we're going to get it with the steam iron. Well, I'm glad I'm seeing it because I would have gotten it screwing something no, up. Well, I have it on video so I can see it again. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Because you'll be sitting here. Sure, and put that on YouTube. I will. It's going to be in three <laughs> postings, though, because it's stopped a couple of times. See, I did mine in several postings. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of it. Just yeah. okay. anywhere in particular, there's no real, just okay. three of them in there. It just holds it. So it doesn't come off when I hit it with the steam because sometimes when I hit it with the steam, the glue will pop off because mm -hmm. it's damp. Let's see the mm -hmm. For this. <laughs> Do you ever have a pin's mouth? Yeah. I just take them out and throw them in the garbage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so don't use these pins on white fabric. All right. So now all we have to do is flip this over. And instead of sewing from one edge to the center and then flipping it over, we actually can just do it right on the paper side. Mm -hmm. On the same mm -hmm. And that's yes. called sew line 40. So I'm not 40. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm the one before the was video called basting <laughs> line 40. Yeah. Yeah. Tom, I'm <laughs> cut her head off a couple of times. You go shoot me in the neck. flips over like this, it lays down really, really flat, and mm -hmm. we're going to go steam it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just the stems. <laughs> Side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'll flip it over and you can see what it looks like from this side, mm -hmm. kind of messy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. so that's the back side of it. Mm -hmm. Stegosaurus. Oh, yeah. And I'll show you the front side in just a minute. <laughs> Here's the front side. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to come back and we're going to do our trim work. Mm -hmm. All right. So first, we have to trim this to the exact size. Okay. That's the first step. <coughs> so we're going to take our rotary cutter and we're going to trim on the solid line that's the outside line, which is no different than you've done on any of your other pieces at this point. From A5 out, it's straight. That's a straight line here. 
That's because through the center of our piece, from about here to here, it's straight and straight. And that makes it so that you can actually sew your the center of your, instead of running those pieces together like a curve. Okay? All right, so now, now it's starting to look like it's supposed to look. Right? Yeah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> So now we have all of this excess here that we want to get rid of. But if I don't mark my lines, then I'm going to lose all my registration lines. Okay? So if I have a marking pencil, does anybody have a marking pencil? Do you have your marking pencils with you? Because I can't sew it. Yeah. Because if I sew it, then I can't sew it. Here we go. Yeah. I'm down. You got it? See what's in there. Here's There's. a white one. Will that work? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Okay. There's a variety of stuff in there. So I'm just going to pick these up and we're going to mark all of these spots here. What are you picking up? Just the paper. Oh. So there's A2. So I'm just going to mark A2. On the and then we're going to mm -hmm. mark A3. And then we're going to mark A4. Then we're going to mark A5. And I'm going to mark A5 with a big arrow. All right? And A3 is my transition point here. And I'm going to do that with a little bit of an arrow. All right. Is there a reason you're not sewing those? Huh? Is there a reason you're not basting those? Like because I still have all of that excess in there. Oh, got it. So I have to pull that paper out first. And when I pull that out, then you lose those. Then I lose it. So got then it. we'll come back and do the basting on it. Got it. Like we did on the other side. Mark it. Mark it. And I don't know. I think that might have been it. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come in here. We're going to lift the vein up and we're going to trim all of the excess off. So we're trimming right on that basting stitch line. what it's going to look like on the back side. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's just getting your head wrapped around the steps. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you get lost, then that's what you're going to ask us, mm -hmm. all right, as you do this. Okay. But that's what the end result is, right? Okay. And now I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to baste on all those lines. Oh yeah, thank you. I am gonna cut the threads first. <laughs> Right. 
if all those long threads bother you, cut them off. But you don't want them to be short. You want to be able to get a hold of them. But they don't have to be 15 inches long. So, all right? There's our piece. Mm -hmm. So you guys are ready to go back and mm -hmm. do this. <laughs> <laughs> what I would suggest is let's get this one done first. Yeah. All right. Because the other one is the easier one out of the bunch, and you really know the steps to that if you did the piping. All right. Okay. So let's get this one first.